the book title came from one of my former books back in 2000 called How to Cook Without a Book. This is my seventh book and they're all wonderfully diverse. One's about losing weight and one's about having people over. I like to write about real life for me and, and my real cooking life. And for weeknight cooking, I believe in this concept of learning to cook without a book. So I just took the approach from my former book and applied it to the meatless lifestyle. My food is pretty eclectic. Um, obviously I come from the South, but mostly my food is very cook friendly because I really do cook every day, either professionally or personally. So I'm in the kitchen. I consider myself every cook. I mean, that's my approach to weeknight cooking. I really want people to free themselves from recipes um, and understand that most recipes derive from either a technique or formula. And you can create your own recipes based on what you have around, what's in season, what's on sale, what you've got a taste for. Uh, you can just open your refrigerator and cook as opposed to seeing isolated ingredients that you don't know how to put together. I think what stops most people from cooking is the recipe. I think that is the barrier. What am I going to cook? And if something doesn't immediately come to mind, you just automatically grab the kids and head out for dinner. And there's just something very special about sitting down with your family at the end of the day and sharing a meal in your home, something that you've prepared. It's magical. And people say, how, you know, what do I need to buy a book for? And I say it's like, it's like a textbook. You get it at the beginning of the year when you start the class and you study it, you read it, you internalize it, and then at the end of the year, you usually give the book back, sell the book, because you know the information in the book and that's sort of the way this book is. You need it, but eventually you'll free yourself from it.